and what's up everybody welcome back to the channel it is your boy cheap ludes and it is time to talk about my team limited so you have to fill your lineup with people who have won a championship or played for the bucks very strange but either way limited will limited so let's look at the squad i'm putting together fred van vliet michael cooper amethyst Kawhi leonard amethyst glitched dennis rodman amethyst serge Ibaka. just a mean defensive five then I'm using Curry Iguodala duo on the bench, uh, Amethyst Rip Hamilton, Ruby James Worthy, and Amethyst Channing Fry. Now, I tried to fill the lineup. You could also run like Peja, um, Sam Jones, Moncrief, Ginobili, Chris Boucher, Pascal Siakam, Brian Winters. There's a lot of different cards. If I was not running Channing Fry, I'd be running Chris Boucher for more defense because as you can tell from my lineup, I need as much defense as humanly possible because I'm a terrible offensive player this year. So filling my team with as many defensive players as possible is definitely going to be something that's going to help me. If you're looking for a cheap option, Taylor Horton Tucker is a very affordable option. He's like a thousand MT and he could definitely help your squad out. Starter Kareem's never a bad way to go. Using any of the dynamic duos, Patty Mills, like these are all options of which you could run. Um, Giannis and Michael Jordan are obviously options you could run. Michael Jordan with the dynamic duo with Scottie Pippen is pretty solid overall. So definitely not a bad way to go. Looking at some cards that I don't have that you could use. Um, let's check the Ruby tier. Ron Harper, if you're looking for more defense. Um, I wouldn't use Tiago Splitter no matter what. Any of the Amethyst guys. Like every single one can be used. Fred Brown, Steven Jackson, Junior Bridgman, Bob McAdoo. Um, Serge Ibaka, obviously, who is my personal favorite, but any of those five will be good. Diamond tier, Kyrie and Tom Chambers can be used. There's no cap as far as like what the gem level of cards can be on your team. So you're going to run into some absolutely tanky God squads out here, which is going to be unfortunate because if you look at the actual like premium or like promo options that you could run, like you could run into Shaq, you could run into Tim Duncan, you could run into Bosch. Like, normally I have to scale down my limited team, like in 2K21, for example, to be like, okay, this is a, a squad that most of you guys would have access to that you can use in limited. This is not the case this year in 2K22. The pack odds are so bad that I don't have to scale down anything. And <laughs> my team's just not very good. Um, there's probably not too many YouTubers where you'll go look at your their team and be like, yeah, my team might actually be better than theirs. Mine is one of them. None of the primetime guys really have the ability to be used in this limited run. Um, Did Marcus Cousins? Cousins might. Cousins is, it's possible. Like, I'm not sure, 100%. No, apparently not. I thought he was on the Lakers when they won, but I guess not. I thought he was injured. I thought he was on the Golden State Warriors when they won, too. He was just injured, but I guess not. No, I think he was on the uh, Warriors when they lost to the Raptors, actually. I've talked about James Worthy and Fred Van Vliet. Obviously, I really wish the Heat would have won in 2020, so I could have used like Duncan Robinson and like Jimmy Butler, but it is what it is. LeBron, Wade, Bird, you can use all those guys. Kareem. This limited run kind of sucks because it basically allows the players who either A, sink hundreds of hours into this game, or B, um, spend a bunch of money or see all of the above to kind of have the advantage in regards to team building here. There's not many budget guys that you can use in this limited run, which kind of sucks. So let's jump in and see if my defensive strategy is going to work in my team limited. I'm not really 100% certain. Like I said, offensively, I've been struggling this year. So I guess we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Let's, let's jump in. All right. Pascal Siakam looks like who he's running at center. I think I see, yeah, that's Peja Stojakovic with Grinches on, who is immediately challenging me to a jump ball for some reason. All right, Dennis Rodman, time to shine. Like I said, my defensive starting five is going to either make or break this team. Like, we're rocking all defense out here, which, by the way, little gripe in regards to Dennis Rodman. Why does he not have clamps? Like, even bronze clamps. Like, why does he not have clamps? If there's any player that deserves to have clamps at this stage, it is Dennis Rodman, who is one of the best defenders of all time. All right, rant over. Let's get to work. Kawhi Leonard just broke Pascal Siakam. My word. Okay. It uh, looks like he has Scotty Pippen, Marquise Johnson, uh, Patty Mills, Pascal Siakam, and... Uh, 
yeah, Beja Stojakovic. Interesting lineup. He's got a lot of floor spacing, but also not at the same time. Oh, no way that goes. Oh, my. Come on, 2K. Why even have earlies when you're going to let that go in? So we're going to run some pin plays. Shout out to Wildmont Gaming for teaching me the wonder of the overpowered pin play. Um, I like this one because it allows Michael Cooper to come over here and get mid ranges and three pointers pretty easy sometimes. Um, I personally like that one. There's a lot of different pin plays you could run depending on what playbook you have, etc. Terrible shot. What are you doing? Bad selection. Bad shot selection. Coach is about to chastise you in the locker room, Marquise, unless you go to your car and get a weapon like you did in White Man Can't Jump. It. I don't know if that was based on real events, though. I'd like to think it was. All right. Should have just took that with a Baca. I don't know what I'm doing there. Dennis Rodman is... If you get his shot down, he is ridiculous for his price. He's dropped down to about 15K. And in my opinion, I think he's more worth 15K than Josh Smith is worth 30, if that makes sense. I know that's like a weird, ambiguous statement to make, but I, I really do believe it to be true. So we're going to work the offense a little bit. Come on, Fred. All right, nothing seeming to get open. Uh, I guess I'll run a pin play. I don't have a lot of time left. Okay, that's not where the ball was supposed to go, but that's cool. All right, I have no time. Uh, yeah, Rodman. <laughs> Terrible shot, but it still almost went in. It's fine. We're up 7-3. to three. Like, my defense is holding. That's what I was hoping was going to happen. Like, offensively, that's always kind of a crapshoot when it comes to me playing this game. Like, is my offense going to be able to score consistent points? That is tough to say. All right, move the ball around. There we go. Come over here and get the ball, Surge. All right, so like the pin plays don't always work, especially when he's like off balling the pin play. Then he, it's going to have like a less chance of a success, but that's fine because at that point you can drive fast with like your point guard and go get an easy layup. I hate that rebounding animation. He got so unlucky there. Louisville Villains. Should have just been called Louis Villains, but you know, whatever. Who am I to judge? If you're watching this video, make it Louis Villains. It's way tighter, I promise. All right. Like I said, the offense, not really humming right now. But the defense, we're playing good. We're getting steals. We're contesting shots. We're getting boards. Dennis Rodman looks super mad. Look, I trust Dennis Rodman with almost everything. The shooting from the corners, got it. Shooting from the top of the key, got it. Rebounding, got it. Defense, got it. Negotiating with foreign dictators, got it. He's got it all. He does everything. Earlier, I was talking about Dennis Rodman and North Korea, but I kept saying North Carolina. But I trust that if North Carolina required negotiations, Dennis Rodman can hold it down there, too. Um, I, I would send him anywhere. All right, let's go. Michael Cooper. All right. And we're going to back it out. We're going to reset the offense. I liked Michael Cooper a lot. There we go. Kawhi Leonard. Don't leave him open. Just a mistake. Just an absolute mistake a defensive breakdown to allow me as trash as I am offensively to score like that you for shame yeah you thought you were getting that off Fred Van Vliet no sir he's Rockford tough you're not getting that off from him is that Paul Westfall okay I guess you can use Paul Westfall too that's cool I didn't know that oh, okay Rodman had to come take that board from Michael Cooper and take his shine away that's it's fine I guess all right the thing about Rodman, too, is the CPU will sag off him occasionally because Rodman's not supposed to be able to shoot like that. So, like, same thing happens with Dikembe on next gen. Um, if you let the CPU defend him and you don't have your settings done correctly, they'll sag off of him specifically because he's not supposed to be able to shoot threes. Um, same thing will happen to Rodman. Most people you play against, though, do 17 minutes worth of defensive settings. So you really, you know, don't encounter that too often. Uh, this guy seemed to only do a couple of seconds of defensive settings when we started. So he must be like newer or something. He doesn't know the ways of sweat yet, unfortunately for him. Fortunately for me. See, this is when the game's fun. And it has nothing to do with me winning. I promise it really doesn't. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, wide open. There we go. Hit that rip. Also, your play will just kind of... Plays will disappear when you put the bench unit in on next gen, um, which is fun. It's It's really tight. But no, this is this is when the game's fun. It has nothing to do with if I'm winning or not. It's just like this guy's not being super sweaty. I'm not being super sweaty to a certain extent. Like I am running pin plays and stuff, but I've only ran like two of them and they've been 
I've ran three and only one's been successful. So it's like, I'm not sweating that hard. You know what I mean? I'm not running pick and rolls as much as I normally would. All right. This is a good switch though. Channing Fry. If you back off Channing Fry, I'm going to hit Curry for a three. So, yep. Smart for you. But you could have probably backed off Andre Gudala and I probably would have bricked it. All right, Pascal Siakam. Good defense from Channing Fry. He is too big for you. Yeah, you got to hack him, dude. You just got to. That's a, that's a smart hack right there because I was going for the fast break. Now, my bench unit really has all defenders again. Uh, <laughs> his CPU, Marquise Johnson, knew what, what it was. This man tried to get the charge off. What are you, what are you trying to do with that? Why, why are you trying to shoot jumpers over Channing Fry with Peja? There we go. James Worthy with the finesse move. You love to see it. I'm rocking so many guys with facial accessories right now. Like Larry Sanders is on my bench with the construction glasses. Uh, James Worthy is chilling with the goggles like the kid from Rebound, the Martin Lawrence film. Rip Hamilton has the face mask. We are rocking facial accessories right now. I just need a guy with like a Nelly Band-Aid. Um, <clears throat> what's another popular facial accessory? A who I somebody on my team has a hoop earring. They have to. No, I don't have any old dudes from like 95 on the squad right now. Um yeah, no one has the hoop earring. That's unfortunate. Steph Curry looks like he rocks a hoop earring in his spare time, though. There we go. Alright, James Worthy should not be shooting that. Uh pro tip, don't do that with James Worthy. <laughs> like you're not gonna make it most of the time. From the corners, you're probably good sometimes, but top of the key beyond the three-point line usually not a good place to shoot with uh my man james worthy you know what that shouldn't have gone in but we're also up 17 to 9 and my defense and offense are humming along right now so i'm gonna go ahead and not get upset that was uh interesting oh he's got daryl dawkins aka chocolate thunder which let me know in the comments, but I think that's the sickest NBA nickname of all time. Chocolate Thunder is tight. Like, I wish my nickname was Chocolate Thunder, but I am neither Chocolate nor Thunder, so it wouldn't really make sense. More like, uh, mm, I don't know. I don't know what my actual nickname would be. All right, come on. Get off me. There we go. Get in. And Channing Fry with the super finesse move. That's what we like to see. Channing Fry is huge. I did not realize this man was this big. Like, I, I did not. All right, Richard Hamilton gets a little frustrated because he's only got one shot attempt this game in fouls. But uh, people in the audience, in the Ludes Dome, no, we're at the Nugget Stadium right now. We are holding it down right now. I got the starters back in. Kawhi Leonard immediately forcing a defensive push off right there. I kind of want Scottie Pippen, but I have no place for him realistically. I'm not benching Kawhi. You really thought that was going to work, huh? Don't be leaving Fred open like that. I'll green that all day. Don't do that. I'm not falling for your little charge scheme. We're up 22 to 9. Like, my team is humming right now. There we go. Get the board. There we go. Serge Ibaka. All right, Michael Cooper. Oh, where is he? Yep. Up and under for Michael Cooper. That's what I'm talking about. Michael Cooper is super good. I'm not saying you should go out and spend a bunch of MT to try to get cards to get up to Michael Cooper, but if you happen to have him already, he's definitely somebody that's worth using. Like, I actually like him more than Vince Carter. Look at my man Michael Cooper just killing it. I know Vince Carter is a better card, but Michael Cooper just fits my play style a little bit better. I, I enjoy him. I need as much defensive help as humanly possible. Look, if you are as bad offensively as I am, Filling your lineup with defensive players is not a terrible idea. Like, it's not a bad idea. It couldn't go worse than what's currently happening. We got a 27-9 lead going into halftime, which will only increase. I will promise you this. I don't know how much... I'm oh, no, egotistic chaos. Why would you do this to me? Uh, all right, so we got a quick quit. Obviously, if you don't have the same players as me, that's fine. But build your squad in a similar way to a certain extent. Um, just make sure it fits your play style. Like, I suck offensively, so I filled it with defensive players, and it ended up working out pretty well. So, as always, it has been your boy Cheap Ludes. I know I'm not about to get anything. What gold player am I getting from this Bucks player pack? It is a gold player. John McLaughlin, who, by the way, sick last name. 
he just kind of looks like a Midwest dad with like a really ornate, super sick bar in his basement that his two friends come and drink at all the time. But it's actually like kind of dusty. You know, that's the vibe I get from John McLaughlin. Like, I don't know if that's correct, but it sounds right. But as always, it's been your boy Cheap Ludes. Good luck in limited this weekend. Let me know down below what cards you are using in your limited squad. I'm curious to see what everyone's rocking with. And uh, good luck ring chasing, because I'm only going for four so I can get an unlimited contract. Peace out.